What's going on everyone? This is Zerk here bringing you another Fallout Shelter video. I'm just going to be talking today about the time glitch. So essentially what you're going to do is you're just going to change the date on your phone and it'll actually adjust the game so that it'll act as if that time has passed. Now the things you want to be aware of is if somebody is in a training room and they haven't reached the max level if you go back in time they can't actually continue with their training they have to be either completed or taken out of that room in order to be trained again or you have to go to that date that you left off at where they were last training you have to go back there and go past that so if you did it on the 25th and then you went back to the 20th you would have to go back to the 26th in order for them to actually gain any time um, so that's something you need to know about the training rooms also you will have to notice that um, the radio time is the same way. See, it says 635 hours. That means I have to go all the way back to when I last left the radio station. And then, uh, if to fix something like this where it says 16 hours and 57 minutes until it produces, if you just rush, if it fails or, or works, you'll fix the time clock on that. A minute and 43. So, that's how you fix those things. Um, going back, if you go back and you have a dweller out, they'll actually just uh, reduce the time as if they haven't even left. Um, but you'll see right now I've already left a dweller out there, and I, I let him die on accident. And so now he's got a day and seven hours until he gets back, but he's got a lot of money. It was only a thousand to heal him. So I'm going to go ahead and I sent him back, and I'm going to go in here, and here's how you change the date. You just go to your settings, and you just go down to date and time. We're going to have to go two days into the future here so I can get him back. to his journey home but hopefully he makes it back he's pretty high level and uh, once you heal him he gets all his health back so anyways that's all you guys do and that will allow you to uh, beat the game essentially in a day um, and make sure that if you've bought any of the lunch boxes that you can go you go ahead and cash those in before you do this just in case because I've heard some, heard some people uh, have lost their lunch boxes that they paid for but you can go forward in the game and then set the clock back to the right time and then save over that and everything that you've already uh, earned will stay. So if you've earned any lunch boxes, any weapons or, or armor or anything like that, you'll have all that stuff unlocked. So anyways, let's see. Hopefully it loads up. And hopefully my guy made it back without dying. Let's see. Come on. Watch it like crash on me or something. Oh, here we go. All right. So, just gotta check it. There's my guy. He's walking up right now. And there, I get 5,662 from him. He still has a lot of Radway and he's got tons and tons of weapons for me. And that's all you have to do. And you just keep doing that. You can do two, maybe three people at the same time, but I'd probably stick with like one or two. And that's all you have to do, guys. Thanks for watching. Check out some of my other videos. Uh, watch how you can rename all your characters, and I'll 